going everyone, AFC Finners, so my second league game of the season, the first that I'll be vlogging. Last night I did Gloucester against Banbury, my good friends Banbury won 2-0. Tonight I'm not far away, I've come to Long Levens. They were one of the first teams I added to a list of grounds to do. Somehow not done them yet, but tonight that changes. Tom Aldo's been here a couple of times before, and he's very kindly joined me tonight. So, don't know too much about this club. Got a few nice surroundings, but let's have a look inside. So we're in. There's a pin bench for three quid. Ticket was six quid. As the Worcester City players arrive. So, if, um, Michael Palmer, the co-manager of Long Evans, has kindly joined us for an interview. Michael, tell us a little bit about the club. Uh, well, this is my third season now. Um, yeah, really starting to improve all, all over, on and off the pitch. Um, quite exciting as the uh, the playoffs have come in this season, and it's a real, uh, no real chance for us uh, as a club to really have a go. And um, I think we have a belief, you know, this season that you know we stick together, we keep to our principles, and we really believe that we could have a go this season. Okay. And um, in, for ground hop, fellow ground hoppers such as myself, what can I expect to find when they come to Long Evans? Everybody's a really friendly. I said, but people have been here uh, for a very long time. I said, I'm here only three years, but you look at. Uh, Craig is my co-manager who's been here I think since the age of 17, uh, Courtney you know the chairman, um, everybody's been here for yeah, a good you know 10 plus years, uh, it's a real family orientated place to be fair so yeah, um, yeah really welcoming club and I've said I've been here for three years and I can't speak highly enough of the place, it's, um, yeah, it's a real joy to be here. And, and finally in researching your club it's clear that you put a lot of resources into developing young talent you've got a lot of youth teams what are your aims for developing the club using your academy resources well to be, we got to use what we have to be fair well especially in this league if you look uh, you know good on them they have a lot of resources they got the money power to you know to bring people in uh we're we're the other way we gotta look you know in-house we gotta look to what we can bring through uh, and i think that's why a lot of young players do come here because they get that opportunity to to go and play and then if we can help push on um so a bit we've done our job but if we can keep them develop them like we have done um i think like i said we got in our team i think seven players at the age of 21 uh, which is like brilliant then we got two uh, 18 year olds so yeah we really are pushing in the right direction and this season uh, credit we got a really good 18s coming through um so we'll be looking at that you know to try christmas time to try and bring through three or four more brilliant michael palmer thank you for joining us thank you good luck much. tonight Quite cool. See the game for me as well. Um, yeah. Toffee's kick. Oh, sorry. So nice, always nice to meet someone associated with the club. It's a lovely sunny evening. We've met, we've been chatting with a few people and there's a big Worcester turnout. You can see blue shirts everywhere. Fair play to them for coming down here on a work night. So it should be a good evening. Let's hope for a good game. We've had goals, goals and more goals throughout this season. Let's hope that continues. But let's take a moment to find out about today's hosts, Long Levens. Long Levens AFC were founded in 1954 and would spend over 40 years in the Gloucestershire Northern Senior League. They were unable to gain promotion for a long time due to lack of facilities. Unfortunately, thanks to the help of the local council and developments, Long Levens were able to get the facilities needed to be allowed promotion. They were elected to the Gloucestershire County League in 2011, and in 2013, they won the league. After a remarkable turnaround, saw them go from fourth from bottom in November to league winners. They retained the league title the next year, which saw them promoted. They are now in the Hellenic Premier Division, after winning the Division 1 West in 2015, and aim to climb further up the footballing pyramid, with a focus on youth development to help the club become self-sustainable as they aim to continue their remarkable growth. Overall, they have won one Hellenic League Division 1 West, two Gloucestershire County Leagues, one Gloucestershire Northern Senior League, and one North Gloucestershire League. So those are our hosts on Levens AFC. Let's have a look inside their home, Sawmill's End. Uh, 
about 20 minutes in and it is Worcester who take the lead. A neat cross has been played in and the centre forwards tucked it in. They've been a better team. It's deserved but hopefully Long Evans can get back into this. They strung a couple of attacks together but no end product. Still no nil nils on them. What number? What's the double their lead neatly curled in? The goals galore continue. 2 0. Half time, Worcester comfortably 2 0 ahead. It's been well deserved. Disappointing performance in the referee. Getting a bit physical, could get a lot more tense in the second half, but we'll have to see. Half time 2 0. Tom, any thoughts? All right. It's the best we're going to do, isn't it? Half time 2 0. Must be very good, isn't it? Well, they're going to mark for this. That's an excellent choice of chocolate bar. One of the most underrated ones. It's only 70p, fair play. What he's just said. Oh my god. 49, Dave. Very nice. 10 to 10 then. Yeah. Wants to make it 3-0, three points, sealed and delivered. Long goals loop through. Their forward just jumped. Keeper came out, it's looped over him and into the net. 3 0, a little bit to go. So a rather feisty game ends with three points to the away team. Congratulations to Worcester City. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, Long Levens, for hosting. It's been a fun evening. I think it is time for us to rate the experience. Tom, I think so. Hello, everyone. It's the end of the video. I meant to say goodbye, but... Bye, everyone. Take two. Let's rate. So we will start off with welcome and... Fair play, I think they knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. The moment I got to the turnstile, the man working there expressed great gratitude that I got a pin badge. And, you know, he said to me, oh, the bar's over there. If you want to get hot food, it's over there. If you want to get chocolate bar, it's over there. It sounds like a little thing, but just, you know, the sheer effort that he put into to making sure I was happy and felt at home was really appreciated. And we were able to chat to so many people from the ground. And I will always appreciate a club taking the time to give me an interview. So thank you very much for doing that. I will come on to the stadium, but I think for what they lack in terms of grounds, they make sure to make you feel very welcome. So I did just say 8 of 10, but you know what? I'll give it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for welcome. Fair play. Food and drink doesn't do us well here because I think... The thing is, I'm so used to non-league clubs just doing chips as a vegetarian option, so I decided to get dinner before the game at a Subway, and <laughs> I was proven right. The only option I would have had was chips, and I'd been to a Gloucester City game the night before I had that for dinner, so I wasn't going to have that again. But realistically, burger and chips was all they had, so it wasn't. It didn't really appeal to me, but... Good choice of chocolates. Galaxy Ripple, not every club has that, and that's a very underrated chocolate bar, as I said. It wasn't anything special in terms of the food and drink options available, so I'll probably give it a 3 out of 10. Atmosphere, I think, yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't do too well in this one. I think in terms of, like, an atmosphere, in terms of the vibe, it was, like, it did a good job. You felt very comfortable and friendly. It wasn't anything toxic, but there wasn't anything, like, chanting or even the basic like go on or anything like that that's no insult to the club i don't come here expecting you know it to be like anfield or anything but i have to be fair and assess it out of 10 so i'll give the atmosphere a two out of 10 in terms of stadium i think there probably could be a little bit of work done i think they have done a good job given the resources they had i think the club bar considering it was a porter cam was really cool it was just a little room but they really made it feel like a really cool space like a proper restaurant the way they sort of decorated it and planned it out fair play they've again they've done well with the cards they've been dealt with i think they're helped by the hotel it's it is just an ibis but it is a really cool view and fair play to the club for having something unique it's just a you know considering it's just a little ground off a dual carriageway it's a nice hidden gem i think in terms of the rest of the surroundings they could probably do with like you know the metallic green fencing that a lot of non-league clubs have like bishops cleave and malvern could probably do with that instead of what they have just so there's some degree of separation from the outside world just because it is next to an office block it's not a great stain but again i didn't exactly come here expecting it to be anything special but i think realistically given the resources they have they've done what they can with the stadium they've at least you know, they've put some effort into making sure there's a stand and 
plenty of decent places to watch the game. I just think there could probably be another roofing terrace or something. So I think there's definitely room for improvement. But yeah, I'll probably give the stadium a 3 out of 10. And finally, value for money. I think this is another one they did really well with. It only cost me like six quid to get in, three quid for a pin badge, exactly what it should be. It was so cheap to get drinks and chocolate bars at the club bar. So, you know, like I said, it was 140 for two chocolate bars. It was really good value for money considering the experience you get. They didn't take the mick at all with their prices. Their prices were fair, very good. So I think their value for money also gets a nine out of 10. That was Long Levens. In all honesty, it's not the best ground I've been to. It's not the best match day experience I've had. But, you know, it's a subsection of Gloucester. They've not got much they can do, but they try really hard with what they've been given. They make sure to give places for kids to play football and develop. And they make sure everyone feels right at home. So they may not be able to offer much in terms of a ground or match day experience, but they can certainly offer you much in terms of a welcome I really respect them as a club. I wish them all the best. Thank you all for watching. I've been AFC Finners. See you next time and stick with us as we go round to ground. AFC Finners out.